title of the book, Rich Man in His Castle, Poor One Takes the Street. It is priceless that a scholar is granted the opportunity to dialogue with the author of the book she's engaging. And as Margaret said, pulling up new imaginations and creating knowledge gathered from another gauge, deeds, time, and space. Margaret, in a 2005 interview, or more correctly, a conversation with Professor, Professor Lamy, in the 52nd year of the publication of the book, In the Castle of My Spain, move away from literature norms. And this was similar to what George did 60 years ago with this, with this publication. George stayed in the castle, and forgive me here, in writing this um, overview, I found myself getting very involved in the book, so sometimes I lost protocol. And even in reading, I did not pick it up. So interchange them referring to Mr. Professor Lamin as George. So I hope that is acceptable. Um, because George stated that castle, quote, it breaks all the rules of a novel. Likewise, Margaret brought rules and engaged only with Castle because, as she stated, I am making the case for Castle because I see it as a peculiar moment in literature and Caribbean thought, and I wanted to make my analysis around that." End of quote. She continued, I am looking at Castle to see what it has to say. No, she did not say what it had to say. I think it, quote, I think it has been analyzed along with other books too easily. I think I think, I think it needs to be put <coughs> Professor Lamy concurred and stated, it is, it is different from any of the other books, not only in terms of my other books, but from other books in the Caribbean. It has resonance that may not be found in the same in other novels of the same time. Immediately, Margaret's intellectual insight about a book that was published in the year she was birthed lived up to the expectation of creating knowledge as she creatively pulled out readings of Professor Lamy's text that reveals why 60 years later is it's still being separated. Drawing on graphics, realization as total expression, and Baptiste Cadillac's forms, she argues that the text is fed by popular humor and images of popular culture, thereby acknowledging that one cannot understand culture from the ex examination of only official cultures and their influence in shaping national culture. She argues, as she, this is very common in the book, living gives history, so, history social analysis and she sees this in Castle. Margaret's social analysis and history cannot be separated from her being a poet, a Christian, a feminist activist, a social commentator, a mother, a friend of friends, and a godmother to Tyree Cole. <laughs> Here, I am identifying that Margaret made the observation in of Professor Lamy's work, giving voice and validity to the collective in their in their continuous rupturing and resistance to domination of the colonial order. In a framework, using a framework that we in the Caribbean has mastered, I argue mistress, after cannibal, <laughs> which in a lot of cannibal, um, calypsos, people argue that cannibal is woman. And we know the calypsos, black woman, and the list goes down. And that is, can, and she uses Cannibal as a literary device. In Cannibal, Masquerade is, Masquerade recognizes and gives value to the protest, either in the form of mimicry and hybridity. Hybridity for Margaret becomes integral in the work as she brings status, as it brings status of the authorizing original 
sorry. Hydrogen becomes integral in Margaret's work as it brings the status of the authorizing original into doubt and raises the questions of its authenticity. Importantly for Margaret, Caraval expresses the utopian belief in a future time in which fear and authority are vanquished. Or put differently, fear and authority are installed and can be uninstalled. Other thematic areas that emerge emerges is redemption. She asserts in this practice, listen carefully, imagination is put into service and demonstrates that the European historical project was itself masquerading its own fictions when it declared categories of human and non-human. <laughs> One of the things that we know about our contact with Europeans is that the first thing that they did to justify to rationalize their behavior and how they treated us and enslavement, they have this category of us as not being human and they being human. So Margaret picked that up as a, using the technique of cannabis as a masquerading in itself, which declares a fiction. Within redefinition, the African, within we, we define the redefinition, the African gives meanings and re articulation to their own realities and being politically conscious that continuously ruptured the colonial preoccupation with the establishment, maintenance, and perpetuation of the social order. This was in the absence of visible large ruptures like rights. Hence, you see, hence, in Margaret doing this, we see the birthing of rich man in the castle, poor one stakes the street. Canavan's masquerades and the grotesque, one of the things that she picked up very much within using the technique of the Canavan is the whole concept of the masquerader. And we all know, whether we go to proper, we went to Trinidad, we all know that within Canavan, the body becomes grotesque, especially in Juve. And nowadays, you know, it's a little different. The body becomes a little less grotesque in terms of how Carnival is depicted. But initially, that was how Carnival was. And it becomes a signifier of resistance, placed in bodies outside the disciplinary system as unruly signs that destabilizes the ruling system. What does that mean? One of the things that comes up within the book is that Margaret defied all the norms and started to look at the, the, the theoretical frameworks that people have talked about the Canavan. And one of the things that these bodies, no matter, they, they just defy rules, whether, and what, it, sorry, one of the things that she was able to do is give some categorization and some thematic things that came out of this book. I'm just going to say, Margaret sets out the gamut. She argued that Professor Lamy's images of bodies consumes and voids. They showed sexual excesses, vulgar body expressions as metaphors of the masquerade. And recognizing, one of the things, in saying that, Margaret immediately recognized that one of the things that within this European masquerading of defining us as human and not the category of human or not human, she gave a caution about the danger in using masquerading. She recognized that and they call it othering. She recognized the ambivalence in colonial power relations. Margaret claims this element of monstrosity which is turned inside out because already our body was supposed to be grotesque. But she turned it inside out in the Canaveral principle and cautioned to avoid the danger of portraying the African as grotesque. But the Canaveral is in the affirmation of the black body as we make several responses about acceptance and internalization, about redefining and re-representing. Canaveral challenges the closure of boundaries which the colonial order set up. It challenges hierarchies repression and exclusion and ownership and return to the principle of transformation. Transformation of fear can be uninstalled. 